In his first season coaching, they went 14-3, and won the Mountain West Championship, and got all the way to the National Championship. Fell short and then took a major step back, 5-7 and seven the following season. That's crazy. 8-5 and five in an Idaho Potato Bowl the recent season, they're right back to where they belong. This year, with this roster, should be good enough to compete in the Mountain West Championship. Sophomore elite quarterback Sidney Ali doesn't want to stop there. With sophomore Ali on offense and sophomore McGee on defense, this team should be scary. 89 overall, 89 offense, 90 defense. The schedule in year four does not look too intimidating. It is a good day to be Boise State in group of five royalty because look at all these five stars and four stars that are more than happy to get scouted out by us. Might be a little riskier of an approach, but there are literally no three-star prospects on our board. And I definitely need guys like Randall Cheeks. Heck, throwing a backup quarterback like Fatou Ball, he's gonna ball for us on the bench. Have you guys met DeQueen? Well, DeQueen's a four-star cornerback that has 92 speed, 92 excel. For real though, our recruiting board is loaded and Jimmy Vaughn is one of those guys, five-star with a gem. So essentially another six-star at middle linebacker. He's got 91 speed, 92 excel. He's as fast as the cornerback. Our man Randall Cheeks from San Diego, 93 speed, 92 throw power, and 89 break sack. He looks like an OP quarterback just coming out of high school. With busts and lockouts, our list dwindled from 35 to 20 candidates already. Now, I don't know about you all, but I'm excited to see this 89 overall Boise State team in action, taking on the astronauts in week one. And here we are running out onto the blue field, the iconic blue Smurf turf. If you have not had a chance to witness this blue turf in real life, you gotta add it to your list eventually to get out and see it because it's quite the sight. Here comes Brock Ladler leading the astronauts in year four of this rebuild. I don't think FCS school is getting any better anytime soon. Now, for being real for a second, I'd love to see FCS schools actually added into the game by EA. Not just through the team builder avenue, but actually in the form of a dynasty control. But with more FCS teams than FBS in this first year's edition, I could see how that was a problem. Just happy to have the game back. I'm looking forward to bringing Boise State a national championship in this episode, I believe we get it done in five to six years. And well, it's already year four, so the window is getting pretty close and our impact players are dogs. Sidney Ali has the start. This man looks like the next Trevor Lawrence essentially coming out of high school. He's got the wheels, if not faster than Lawrence. If you're wondering why I'm comparing him to Trevor Lawrence, well, he has the locks. The helmet doesn't really do it service, but he has the locks like T-Law. And look at this wide open Larson connection. We're getting all the way down into the red zone. Has the arm, has the legs. He can do a little bit of everything here. And let's showcase those 93 speed legs. Touchdown. Yeah, man, it's going to be a cheat code with him at quarterback. We loved our time with Malachi Nelson, but this guy is just different. As you can see, running, throwing, authority, and accuracy. First and goal, tried and true to the blue. We pound the rock, and we're going to go up the middle. Second and goal, a little RPO trick play here out to Liggins. He can lig on that. Touchdown 87, Boise up on top. Ollie put it in the whole league on notice. This man is going to be the one of the best in the nation, as you can see with ease finding Liggins again. Love me some Liggins. I'll lig on that all day. Doing what we're supposed to do against an FCS opponent, it is 28-7, and we're looking to make it 35-7 real quick. First and goal, Crumpler, and everyone else looks wide open, but we'll just dunk it out to Liggins. We're at the one. I feel like we can just take off if we need to, and that's what we're going to do. Instead, we'll dump it. Okay, that was not a good decision. I guess we can make some bad decisions here and there, even against FCS opponents, but we have all day on this one. Ali's just going to hit the edge up and down that sideline. Touchdown. Not only was our quarterback an amazing find, the receiving room, the running back, the offensive line, this whole team feels complete. Love to see young guys stepping into big roles early in their career as he dumps it out to Bates. Putting on just a show out here. He wants more because he's not satisfied. Crumpler, touchdown. I know it's an FCS opponent, but Ollie in his first collegiate start looks insane. That's gonna wrap it up in week one, 56 to 17, defending the blue. It's an honor and a privilege to play on this field. And Ollie showed why he belongs right here at Boise State.
435 passing yards, five touchdown passes, then you tack on two via the ground. Shout out to senior Tyshawn Liggins, who wants one last hurrah. There he is as Mountain West Player of the Week. And wow, that was good enough for National Player of the Week too. Winning Tyshawn was our defender Sergio, National Defender of the Week, five tackles, two forced fumbles, and four fumble recoveries. That is a lot of fumbles. Our six star Jimmy Vaughn is going so fast. He's already between UCLA, Arizona, and Boise State. Arizona threw him a week six visit, but when I saw that, I knew I had to get him on the calendar one week earlier. So we'll go ahead and see Jimmy in week five against Wyoming. Instead, I guess we'll see Jimmy in week three because he's already made up his mind. He wants to bleed blue. It's a beautiful day when you bring in the best linebacker in the nation in just week three. Following suit, we got LaRon Everett and Randall Cheeks on a week five visit to Wyoming. Arkansas had the same idea, trying to meet Johnny Douglas very fast. However, I'm trying to max out his bar right here, right now, and send him on week six visit just in case. Our tight end, Lewis Baisley, loves Cheeks. Check it out. Athlete Randall Cheeks will be visiting the same week, so he gets a positive bonus. Lots of visits scheduled, so I'm expecting commits here in the next couple of weeks. We won against Texas State by one touchdown and then somehow lost to Marshall, 28-20. No shade to Marshall, but it just doesn't make much sense. 22 for 26, good completion percentage, but only 228 yards, and he threw an in. On the ground was much better. Answer why we lost probably lies on defense with no sacks, no interceptions nor fumbles meaning defense was inefficient and Marshall took advantage going into Wyoming week we got to Johnny ahead of Arkansas which is good because this team needs to continue to restock as the sim makes no sense to me 45 to 27 we lose to App State Dontre Meekins cooked us for six touchdown passes Ollie on the other hand 330 and four touchdown passes not bad we just somehow still got blown out Wyoming week has finally arrived and I'm seeking answers how could we possibly drop to App State and Marshall in back-to-back -back weeks. Maybe here at home on our turf, we'll finally get it right. Looking around the stadium, there are a lot of empty seats. It looks like Boise State fans not happy about a two-loss season this early on. So let's go ahead and reward them with a great season and a great game right here, right now. What a dump to Boz. Really surprised with how quick the pressure is coming in from Wyoming. And I just forced that one into a really bad spot. So that's intercepted. Thankfully, we get a second chance on offense here without much penalty from Wyoming's offense as Larson's out of here. Showboat touchdown. With so many five-star prospects visiting, we can't afford to have many blunders like the one we did recently. Because we can't have blunders, we're going to run a fake punt and succeed. Check it out here. Looking like a clamped up situation it still worked out the long beautiful if you don't recall we saw a boise state fake punt in one of the reveal trailers and so i just had to recreate that moment been risky all drive long why stop now open receiver he caught it first and goal gonna hand it off to larson rely on our big running back finding the edge and now finishing it off up the middle touchdown number nine fourth and 12 this is huge for wyoming can they convert they have a good deep shot there but not good enough because martin number 22 was all over it when sophomore ollie's given red zone position more often than not he is going to make you pay anyway with his legs with the arm surveying in this case could have dumped one out i thought he had the running back that's okay we got a much better chance here we'll just take it to nunley defense doing a great job today holding wyoming to six points and stopping him here on the fourth down inspired football is the type of brand we like to see nunley fighting for the first why not try dumping a, a screen to larson there was a linebacker hauling down on him and I thought he could break free. Wyoming had a backup linebacker also in the vicinity, so that's helpful from their perspective. Boswell secures it, touchdown. How about them Broncos? This game felt pretty decisive from the get-go. Could not pick up the first, but it's okay. One more stop here. It's all she wrote over the middle, just out of our reach. They convert. But in the grand scheme of things, it did not pan out, and Boise State is victorious once again on the blue turf. It's very hard to beat this team at home. After the performance, Sean Neighbors commits, Lewis Baisley commits, and we continue to make ground on LaRon Everett and many more prospects. Makes me sad, but I think Randall Cheeks is about ready to commit to the Texas Longhorns. On the road at Fresno State, the Bulldogs battle for the milk can. This has been a good season for Boise, eight and two, finally ranked 23rd in the nation. I knew the Broncos were on the come up again with this loaded team, so it's important to take it to our rival. 
in the series. Boise State's the all-time leader, 18 and 10. Let's go ahead and make it 19 and 10, handing it off up the middle just for a few. First quarter has been a dogfight against this bunch, and he is going to have to throw it away, so our ball is back. Three and out from the O, leads it back to defense, and we want to stop him here short, so it looks like we'll hold him the three. No cigar for the Bulldogs on their offensive drive, so now we have a two-minute drill to go ahead and move down this field and get points of any kind. Second and three, I think we have a step here, dropping a dime into Nunley's lap to the house. Touchdown number 13. Do your thing. Let's go, man. Boise State strikes hot. First in goal, and we crumble. Anything goes in a rivalry game, especially when it's for the milk can, as this read option and spin move by Ollie looking so clean. Picked up some big yards, and now we're gonna go ahead and try to finish the job. But the pressure was down our throat, so we're forced to settle for a 40-yard field goal, which we fitted in. Up by three, looking to finish the game with the win, of course. This is an important drive. Gonna have to pull out everything we can find here as we float one up to Larson, the star receiver. Play action, scrambling. We got an open tight end. It's Lester who picks up a clean eight. Back up the middle with Larson. There it is, first down. After this play, we can definitely take the two-minute warning with a chewed clock. So let's adjust it and go down to chew clock. Continuing to pound the stone and burn timeouts. I like this Larson guy who's been picking up some key yards. Bulldogs all out of timeouts, and there goes Ali taking off with the ball. He picks up the first. Expert craftsmanship by the underclassmen, and now he can take a knee. Victory formation, Boise State wins. Close one, but in the end, a win is a win. Gotta show me where that milk can is. That was the 20th series win, apparently, not 19, but where's the milk can? I wanna see it get hoisted up. I guess they won't show us. They'll show us Nunley instead. On the recruiting front, keeping it pushing, James Aquino from Houston, welcome to the squad. Churning out the wins in Mountain West Conference play, San Jose State, New Mexico, Utah State, all decisive before beating the Aztecs by one touchdown, then came back and dropped 52 on Colorado State. You just saw Fresno State, and now it's Air Force in the season finale. Towards the end of the season, Heisman race right now is tight between a few quarterbacks. Kabari Johnson from Oregon State, and then DJ Lagway, who transferred to Baylor. Don't be sleeping on Sidney Ali, who's sixth on the list for best quarterback of the year. A win brought us right to the Mountain West Championship game against UNLV. They went six and six this year, yet they're playing us in the big game. With the two game win streak, they miraculously go five and three in conference play, have the head to head tiebreaker over Utah State and a six and six season, good enough for the championship game. After the first patch of college football 25, it looks like they did not fix the Boise State Greenfield glitch because we're in the championship game and it turns the blue turf to green. I think it's interesting to see the first time, but after that, that's more than enough. It's immersion breaking at best with a logo off the middle field. It's just an empty green field. Third and seven, looks like they're gonna go with a play action here and get intercepted in the championship game by Benefield, one of our best corners out there. And as I was looking up, I didn't even realize UNLV just got him to fumble. Crazy turn of events gave UNLV the ball back. That is un real to see as he has all day long to get a receiver coming back to him touchdown no longer have the blue field advantage as the green is just what you is used to down 14-0 crumpler got a step pretty easy there except the quarterback just airmailed it our guy was super inaccurate there will he actually connect on this one he does nunley touchdown we need to go get some points and quickly UNLV calling timeouts, hoping to get the ball back before the second half is over. And I just threw an interception, so they will get a chance here at the end of the first half. Brutal start to the championship game. You never want to go down 28-7, but it's always a good sign when you can find the speedster Nunley. The DBs are having trouble keeping up. When in doubt, look for your deep threat. And now with a 50-yard field goal, the lefty kicker does not have that big of a leg, so this will be a kick return attempt, and we have to stop him. Are you serious? We're not going to let this guy score on us before half. Yo, 
Yo, I sold with the dive there. Touchdown, UNLV. We're not going to get into the national championship game with a loss. So this is extremely heartbreaking. I'll fight to the very last second, but how in the world did UNLV get this good at the end of the season? If we can overcome a 28 point deficit, we'll be right back in this thing. But coverage was really good there until Larson just shed free. The grit, the strength, it was all there on display. And when a man makes a play like that, we might as well reward him going to the back of the end zone. Heartbreaking result here in the championship game. UNLV was on a mission. Where did these guys come from? I need to know how they put up 45 points and still beat Nunley, who had 305 receiving yards, four touchdowns. 2027 Heisman winner Cordell Russell from CU, 15 touchdown snags, 902 yards. Honestly, for a Heisman campaign, you'd think there are other players in the nation that could compete with that. After losing the Mountain West Championship game and missing out on the playoffs, we've been relegated to the New Mexico Bowl against FIU. And I already knew when I saw this one, we were gonna be victorious. New Mexico Bowl claimed. A little tighter than I expected, 24 to 10. Ollie was efficient, 82% completion, 264 yards, two touchdowns. That's better than what Josh Schaefer from FIU could say as he threw two interceptions and had 259 yards. The 2027 college football playoffs came and went and Colorado was victorious your national champion led by cam their receiver 80 yards two touchdowns that was good enough to seal it 35 14 over Miami was that the Heisman receiver not a ton of seniors graduating one going to the NFL draft but the rest just your typical group Franklin Johnson selected in the fourth round and Chase Martin in the sixth round offseason recruiting I start by giving guys like Chester Webb Tavares VZ and Marvin Merlin a scheduled visit and hard sell we should lock up these three right off the rim now the transfer portal is open and i think db and lineman are the right move jojo robinson jr a four star that would be a great addition to the secondary i just noticed a lot of them are coming over from utah so heck we'll take them here at boise narrowing in on transfers jojo here 99 change of a direction that sounds filthy as a corner okay wait sua here has 99 change of direction as well is that just commonplace for transfer corners? Brian over here as a transfer quarterback, 95 speed, 90 throw power. That's nice. At National Signing Day, we land the 14th best class in the nation. Boise State's been loading up for a while. This far into the rebuild, all I gotta say is RIP Georgia State, Kennesaw State, zero recruits whatsoever, and then give it up to Kent State, UL Monroe, UTEP, and New Mexico State for bringing in one two-star prospect. Training results at the end of the season has us up back to an 89 overall, 90 defense. This time led by five 90 plus players. We got a running back, a guard, a left end, linebacker, and left tackle. Good spread and good depth of players here. Into year five, ideally the national championship year, we got another fresh batch of 35 targets, a lot of five stars, a lot of four stars, and guys like DeMarco Speed who have 78 speed so not going after him. Outside of speed, we got Jolly, who actually has speed 90 at the right outside linebacker position, plus a bunch of other gems that we're definitely going to be targeting throughout the season. At least 10 four-star gems, and then about four to five five-stars that we're going to go after as well. Dominic Adams, another six-star recruit. We found at least one every season so far. With a 90 overall, 90 offense, 91 defense, I believe Boise State could make a run for the ages, finishing the job they started, and it starts right here against Cincinnati. Boise fans eagerly selling out the stadium in week one. As you can tell, everyone's really wearing blue today. It must be a blue out for the boys in blue. Let's run it back. A new season of college football starts right now against Cincinnati, and we got a fun one ahead of us. Keenan Larson, the 92 overall running back. Man's got gold badges out the wazoo. So I think off the rip, we're gonna have to hand it to him, see what he's all about. Going to the right, minus one. That cornerback, Willie Goodwin, 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 jump. 
Gonna have to watch out for him. Probably not gonna get anyone past him. Looking at the matchup button, it looks like all of our receivers are better than the DBs. At least that's how I'm interpreting that yellow dot. And we're really seeing that wasn't a catch. I'm throwing the challenge flag off the rip. That tight end looked like he dragged his toes. Let's check it out in slow mo. Yeah, man, what are we doing? One last look at the replay. Come on now, give me that. That's an NFL catch, two feet in bounds, and they do award Boise State with the first down. Darn right they should have. Now we're gonna go back to the right to Larson, who has got a step. Look at that nice, clean run. I'm actually impressed by Cincinnati. I feel like they're rebuilding pretty good. 86 overall, but it's far not enough for the defense when our Ollie is out of there with breakaway speed. Touchdown, QB1. Bronco fans eating it up. That was a house call from about, what, the 50? So Sydney's got some speed in him. Feels good to have Bronco football back in action as the QB steps up and gets dropped for a major sack from Ulafe. Larson is a machine, but so is our quarterback, Ollie. So it's like, who do you cover up? Big third and 10 over the middle. It's neighbors, the backup running back stretching. Fourth and inches, definitely going for it. Quick out here, tight end holds it. Backup quarterback Priestley also has a star under his name. So let's hand it off to him as he cuts it upfield. Touchdown, Boise State. Boise State. National championship or bust this year. Let's just take our sure thing with Nunley. Whoever their star DB is on over there with the star, I have to avoid our receiver because 99 speed is there's some clamps. As you can tell, he's locking it down. Maybe a slip screen to Larson is the better play as we'll have some blockers in front of us making a move, making a second one, first down. Over the middle was so wide. How did Boswell just sneak on past the secondary down to the two? Not sure how he was able to break away like that. So Larson, take us home. Ah, that didn't work out. Didn't work the first time. So let's just go ahead and use him at quarterback and pitch it out to Priestley, running back to running back touchdown you just love to see it right now as bronco nation we're just putting it on everyone floating up to boswell back to the goal to go i'll keep an eye on crumpler who's going up against the top notch corner and let's test him very bad idea i forced it before i even saw it in my head i was like man i could totally go expose this 99 overall corner right now but as a 99 corner would play He's the one that exposed me. Got that out of our system. Had to do it at least once, but we'll take a Nunley dive. Sweet catch. Neighbors up the middle. Snag down. Sending Priestley out to the right. I think we got a wide open dude here if we just have the time to get our feet down. Toe drag, touchdown. Who else other than Nunley? Holding the Bearcats to 10 points, looking to put the finishing touches on here. Fourth down. We just ran right on past him. Crazy how close it got at the end. They scored and then got another opportunity to score. Thankfully, we ran out the clock and they couldn't score again. Our first major signee from Boise, Idaho, Kevin Byard is a gem four star. So pretty much a five star right here on our home turf. Liking the boys from Colorado, we're bringing in some good ones out there too. Can't forget our friends over at Utah. Oh yeah, and if I didn't mention Boise State has a pipeline at Texas too, well, there you go, Dominic Adams. Washington as well, Pacific Northwest love. And speaking of love, Boise fans love Sydney Ali, another player of the week accolade. Boise State on a tear this season, eight and O, looking to go flawless, currently slotted in at the three spot in the national playoff championship run. The first Brown Racket is interesting, I'm not gonna lie. You see Illinois, Baylor, and LSU alongside us for the top four. Then you got guys like Liberty and Vandy battling it out. Unfortunately, the perfect run could not last as Nevada arrival beat us 28-23. We made sure to take it out on San Jose State, New Mexico, and Hawaii. Sir Sponge has already done a lot in the recruiting department, so he's been focusing on the tactician tree the passing game he's maxed out blocking he's maxed out and cross training all of these abilities boost players during the game mountain west championship game back at the green turf against fresno state no questions about who was the better team in the championship game 52 27 Boise State defends the home turf in a big way. Not only that, Boise State now hoists up the Mountain West Trophy again. It's been a little while since they've been able to do it, but there is the trophy. Congratulations to 
the Boise State Broncos were guaranteed into the national championship. Eighth in the nation, we were able to hold on to the four seed in the playoff bracket. It looks like we'll take on the winner of Georgia Liberty. Fingers crossed, I'm hoping for a Liberty upset. Sorry, dog fans. Before we get there, I gotta recognize the key performers that helped us to this point. Sydney, of course, 40 touchdowns, seven ints, 3,300 yards, great season. Balanced running attack, Larson did his thing. Ollie added another 500, and then Priestley filled in where he could. Lul Span. And this is surprising to see at 1,000 yards, 12 touchdowns, a breakout season for the receiver. Parker McGee, our six-star defensive tackle, has been dealing with injuries the last couple seasons, so he hasn't been able to stay on the field performing to the fullest of his ability. Jimmy Conrad, on the other hand, is doing what the other guy should be doing. 12 and a half sacks, great year. In the secondary, some good play here from a couple DBs. I was not aware of this, nor did they really pop it up on screen, but Nunley set a record for Boise State most receiving yards in a game last season. And then Malachi Nelson in his iconic nine touchdown game set one a couple years back. That's also good for all Mountain West Conference records as well. Not quite when you take all nation records into play. Troy Edwards from Louisiana Tech, more receiving yards, and Klinger from Houston, more touchdown passes. Who knows, with the turn here someone might try to put on an all-time performance let's go set some records and play hard against the georgia bulldogs we're evenly matched 90 overall 91 defense the road to become a champion starts here at the rose bowl give it up for your boise state broncos man they are in a good spot just need to win a couple games the dogs on the other hand they're a tough one seed if we can beat these guys i think we're good to go the distance Looks like it's going to be wet and wild, so hold on to your rain ponchos. It's about to go down. Sydney Ollie, read option, cutting up field, shedding one. Look at that. Bring in the action nice and early. QB run play. Beautiful work. Going to need a good mix of offense, defense, a little bit of everything. Because Georgia is no joke, and I mean it. Uh, if you don't know who Georgia is and what they've done, you're under a rock. I'll just tell you this. We don't need to let Georgia get another national championship title they've gotten too many of these it's time for boise state in our time to shine great drive here right now to open up the game getting all the boise state fans pumped up as we find a wide open boswell first and goal gotta cash in for some points no blocks whatsoever nothing hello you can count on relentless pressure from georgia i already know we're gonna have our hands full back of the end zone boswell laying out hospital pass definitely want to keep our players healthy in this matchup so i would like to limit those type of plays as we find it to crumpler crumpling down on that georgia defense uh-huh fourth down this is or sorry third down this is still very big and we let him slip through the rain might have got to his fingers rainy or not we knew georgia was gonna get theirs and look what they did they got theirs and get us some more trying to work some bronco magic third down cutting up field with larson and he's breaking free for a tough run that's blue collar football right there folks and crumpler is a blue collar receiver should have held it i'll cut him a little slack in the rain but honestly when you're going up against georgia in the biggest game of your life you have to make plays now it's third and 10 all of a sudden scrambling out to our right going back across the field let's just take three don't really trust this kicker we brought in from the portal i think he's like a one or two star thankfully squeaks it in here 17 apiece before half it's the two minute drill definitely want to go ahead and get some more points and we'll start off with a big play what's the flag on though i'm curious about that unnecessary roughness okay that's gonna tack on some yards in the swing of one play we're already on their side of the field looking to get into red zone go ahead and take the rock up the field spin past the defender larson for five not opposed to chewing the clock for a few seconds just because we know that we don't want georgia to get another chance coach really telling us to punt i'm going for it look at the little faith we have in our kicker telling us to punt at the 32 instead i'm gonna run a stick hit the slant play bingo bongo crumpler dropped it i need crumpler to seriously step it up man i can't keep having the man drop balls and that time no one's open for my ball interesting look here on defense they're kind of pressing up that left a wide open nunley who just walks the dog third and 20 let's get this defensive line to generate some pressure so they don't have all day how does that sound qb steps up takes a shot from the linebacker fourth and 12 down by three it's time to leave it out all on the line we have to get a good drive here to go up and beat georgia larson 
finds a way to get through. Wonderful job. Just like that, moving it down the field like we're talking about it. Gonna run a little RPO here. I think we can hit it. Why not? We might get a flag on some illegal man. Sometimes that happens if you take too long on the RPO. No worries, we'll shake it off. And why would you leave Larson open again? You saw what he did on like the last play. If they plan on giving me that, I'm gonna take it every time. Read option, Sydney, careful not to fumble that rock. Now we got a big second and nine. Let's just lob one to the corner of the end zone. Nunley, that looks perfect. Quite frankly, it had to be better than perfect because that did not work out. Maybe this one will, going up to Crumpler. Yo, hold on to the ball. Now I'm forced to trust the kicker, and we all know how that goes. It's shady at best. Thankfully, nails it here. Third and nine, absolutely need the stop. Read option, quarterback just finds the gap and goes. We need anything we can get here in this final drive. Just got to play some textbook football. What do we got? I don't see anything. I tried stepping up in the pocket. It was too late. Third and humongous to go. Just going to throw a deep ball to Span. He dropped it. Come on. I guess our receivers have a knack for selling it right now. It is rainy, but seriously, you had a step, dude, again. Let's see if out here Span actually comes through for us on fourth down. I'll give him that. That was actually massive, and it keeps everything alive up in here. I think I saw a step on the defender. Huh? Amount of times right now we're just not connecting right now. And there's a sack. The team is struggling to find a connection, so I'm going to run this little custom route here. Called it on the audible. Nunley kept the feet in. First down. That was actually big brain play call right there. We're now out of timeouts. We got the first down. He has a step again, unless the DB does that. The worst part is right now, if we take a sack, we're out of timeouts, so we cannot take a sack for whatever we do. We can take a Nunley touchdown any day of the week. I'm gonna go for two and win this thing. Coach is on the same page. He says, go for it. And you know what? We get this far. We have to take the risk and go for the win. And that's exactly what we're doing. Nunley holds on. How did he do it? How did he do it? I was not expecting that. So that's huge. Pass interference on the defense even. So we have another shot. But it is good. Up by one. I'm going to keep it a buck. My initial reads had me panicking. So I just chucked one up to Nunley. And I really don't know how he held that through contact. What a stud muffin. Kickoff here, 21 seconds. They have all their timeouts. It's Georgia offense, bro. We could very well lose this thing. Not really sure what to do, so I just call cover four here and have everyone play quarters. And what the heck? You could have definitely ran up and tried to pick that. We had like a linebacker just run past that ball, so I was not a fan of that route he took. Now they're down to 10 seconds. He's got a good chance there. He caught it. Yo, this thing might be over. I mean, they're lining up here with eight seconds to go. Watch for the quick out, and no, they're just going to take a Hail Mary and go for it all. Go for the win. Intercepted. Boise State wins it. Are you serious, man? Let's go. What a nail-biter. Win by one point against Georgia. Unreal ending. If ESPN Classics were still in this game, that would definitely be it. Tyrone Treggs is the one to haul it in when it mattered most. Beautiful. Let's keep dancing. What a crazy stretch of games. Now we have to take on Bama, the other proven dynasty in college football. Alabama is another very storied and tested team with a lot of chips under their belt. Nick Saban, the GOAT at coaching college football. I don't know, man. I think we have some life after upsetting Georgia. Alabama should be watching out for us in the Fiesta Bowl. That is our stomping ground after all. We've won a few of these things. The iconic Statue of Liberty to win it against Oklahoma happened right here at the Fiesta Bowl. So I'm ready for more magic in moments against Alabama. Drive number one in the game. This is an important one. I'm gonna step up and take off with Ali who fights for the first. If I don't like what I see, I'm definitely a threat to take off and we'll scramble out to the right here. Dump it to the tight end, Boswell. No good that time, but sometimes it will hit. Let's just dump it off to Priestley, who fights ahead. Third and five, sending the running back out to the right. They blitz. He's wide open, and he can take off. Larson, Juke, nice fight. This team's middle name is Fight out here because that's exactly what we have to do. And when we're throwing balls like that, I was expecting the receiver to cut back. Only the corner did. Not able to hold it on the last one. This time, it's a different story. Larson in the red zone, about to plunge. Much more methodical this drive until 91 just blew it up. Lampkin on that last one. 
Dumping it out on the Texas. Larson, no. Fourth and four, gotta take some risks in the Fiesta Bowl if you're gonna win it all. Scrambling it out. He has a receiver in the back. It's Nunley. That man has stepped up in every which way. Needed a guy in the clutch. Find number 13. Talk about defense. It has been a performance for the boys. Like running that out play because sometimes they leave them wide open. And there it is. Corner on the corner route. Little showboat and all. Doesn't hurt no one except the Bama defenders. Toasted. Head top. Rock them asleep. They're feeling this. 20 to 3. Gave up a touchdown on the last drive. Don't really like when we do that. However, we'll bounce back and throw an interception. So... I guess we're trying to make this game interesting, are we? Not the way to close out the first half. Second half football. Let's go cash in. See if anyone gets open. Bro, the defense collapsing so fast on us. Now third in goal. I think Nunley again should have it, and he holds on. Where is number 13? That's where you look. Up by seven. This is a big end of game drive. We just need to hold on for the victory. As soon as we start converting first downs, I'm going to be chewing clock like a madman as Larson just fights ahead. Third and two. O-line hold for me. Hold. Hold. No. Effectively can win it, though, on a conversion or two. It's really risky. Probably not advised to do something like this. But we'll take it to corner who gets the first. That's just playing in the college football playoffs. You got to do some things unconventional if you really are serious about winning. Two-minute drill. Let's go with the run. Larson going nowhere. It's definitely a run play, but it's going to be a read option. And we're keeping it with Sydney, who cannot escape the DT. Unbelievable. They scored faster than a Jack rabbit in july so now it's all tied up and we can win it though on this drive forgot i still had the coaching adjustment on the chew clock so that has to change after this play thank you very much all better now over the middle much better that crumpler secures it really we just need a field goal range and whatever it takes to get there i'm game now remember our kicker is a trash can and i mean seriously he barely has the juice to hit it 40 yards and that's generous if I think he can actually hit it. Good run there by Ollie. Let's take a timeout. 20 seconds to go. Just need as many positive yards as we can get. And yes, I'm taking a timeout for every positive play. Let's go slant to span. Lovely. Okay, we're here. We're at the land, the promised land. Just need to be smart with the ball. Don't want to do anything stupid, so throw it away. Six seconds isn't a whole lot of time, but I think we can get a few more yards or go backwards. Timeout. Let's kick this field goal. 33 yards. This is essentially an NFL PAT. Good luck. May the odds be ever in our favor. Here we go. That looks good to me. He's missed it. Are you out of your mind? 33-yard field goal shanked it on a good-looking meter. This is why I can't trust this dude. That is a load of barnacles out here. I kid you not. We can't have that nor that. Where did my team go in the clutch? We needed you guys to step up, and I can't find anyone right now anyone instead we're throwing a pick and that is gonna seal our fate good night some good players entering the nfl draft like our middle linebacker first round pick keenan larson third round k wood third round kona fifth going into the next season boise state's prestige is up after a 13 and 2 year 92 overall across the board this is even better of a chance for the national championship six foot five receivers crumpler and span getting old we have to get these guys that ring not to mention ollie's up to a 92 overall clearly the best o-line we've ever had this team in roster I believed in could do it all. And Sidney Ali as a senior won the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award. Where Javier, the sophomore running back, won special teams player of the year twice in a row now. Boise went 11 and 2, winning against Cincinnati, dropping one barely to Washington, and then winning all the way minus a random hiccup to New Mexico. Conference championship game, no problem. In the college football playoff bracket, Oregon smoked UTSA in the first round. So we're going to play the Ducks. A game that does not need an introduction. We know know each other very well no more mr nice guy after last year's run and we're taking names not leaving anything close taking names clapping cheeks doing what we gotta do that works so well i'm gonna do it twice so nice we gotta do it twice and the block holds up easy touchdown here we go up the middle to neighbors cutting to the right that's a run sean and ollie out here are fan favorites so you know they're gonna put on a show and this is literally sydney ollie's last year doing it so of course he's gonna go out with a bang last chance to get a ring out here for ollie so you better know he's gonna be swinging till the very last play 
Do your thing, Six. Two minute drill. Let's see if we can catch him napping one on one ball. Crumpler wins it. See you later. Touchdown, Boise State. Perfect way to crumple a defense is to catch him napping just like that. And wow, I thought he mossed him. Up by four. Let's pat it on. I don't see the problem with doing that. Across our body. That's probably going to hang for too long. That's usually not a good idea. Throw him across our body like that even though he really did have a step. It just wasn't gonna get there. One point is the lead right now, and we can win this game with a couple firsts. Really proud of the defense, playing very high level football, and I missed a slant. Ugh. Not every day do you get a free play like that, and I choked really bad, and I ran right into the sack. I'm selling the game. I was so busy looking downfield, I missed the danger right in front of my eyes. Thankfully, right here, we should have it with a minute 30. Once again, all the credit belongs to the defense to be 100 out here. They did a, a phenomenal job as Ali has the gas to pick up the game winning clinch. Kneel down, it's over for the Ducks. We roasted them and survived by one. On to the next. If this was a deep rebuild going 10 plus years, this would have been great. Program builder unlocked. However, it's not the case. This is gonna be the final year because we're winning it all. And winning it all starts with round two against Ohio State we have a better offense and defense Boise State offense on the move up 7-6 second and 12 we just got a man to dump it out to here it's Swaim fighting ahead for 10 time to pour some sugar on Ohio State's defense wide open it's corner always in our corner number three tight end sophomore stepping in huge he made an impact as a freshman I remember some key plays in last year's run as well so we'd love to see that Crumpler has been here since the beginning. Crumpler's been here crumpling defenses since he was a true freshman five star, and he's been a part of this whole rebuild. Third and three, just want to finish it off over the middle. That looks super dangerous. Swaim in the window, swimming that thing. If we're up, then we're up, then we're up because this offense is up all the way, dude. We can't be stopped. Not sure when the last time Ohio State's defense has looked this pedestrian, because look at corner, man. So inspirational. Up by 15. Still got a couple minutes left in the second quarter. That slip screen didn't work. So if a slip screen doesn't work, you pull out the big guns, call verticals, and hope someone gets open. Let's just take it underneath to corner. Third and five. Corner again, maybe out of reach not much luck kicking but i feel okay with a 28 yard field goal thank goodness this is the time to pat it on already up we need to get even more up what a dime albeit it didn't complete but hitting these type of passes on the run is next level football as he gets a block and ollie is trying to get out of there under a minute to go quick one two crumpler he's like my best receiver i can go to when i know i'm throwing a difficult ball out there and span on the other hand is just a blossoming star gonna go to the nfl competition breeds excellence and that's exactly what's happened to this boise state team they've had so many stars so many stars come through the rank that they're all playing better because of it you seriously never can get two up against ohio state so let's go ahead and take off again deja vu essentially fighting to the one should be able to just hand this one right up up the middle first down handoff did not work so we're gonna go right to spam man made his db look like a fool i'm not gonna lie up big with a date to the national championship in the next game they do convert on the fourth but they're down 20 barring a last second crazy comeback i'm gonna go ahead and take some insurance points here read option ollie spin first and goal up over a hundred yards on the ground and now we can just hand it off to neighbors didn't work out that's okay we'll just dump it to troop who is trooping for the one back up the gut to neighbors he follows the blocks in sugar bowl went boise's way since the start 51 37 that is the result all of us have been waiting to see now we got a date back at the final championship game it's revenge it's time to win it all wow absolutely loved this national championship matchup washington state boise state once again these two teams know each other and now we're meeting on the biggest stage shout out to the pacific northwest for getting it done washington state passes north carolina beats georgia by three beats baylor by a touchdown and here we are in the natty 83 overall washington state is having a run like no other facing big bro 93 overall boise state the odds are heavily in our favor as here come 
the Broncos at the big stage. The moment you've all been waiting for, the 2030 National Championship patch on the shoulder. This team has been starved for a big time trophy ever since getting teased in the first ever year of this rebuild. Let's kick it off and let the games begin. Underway at Arizona University of Phoenix Stadium. Looking to lower the boom, we whiff. Looking at the team side by side comparison, we average pretty much the same exact yards per game. They're a little bit more pass happy 80% of the time. So essentially meaning they will pass it four out of five times as well as the opening play of the championship game. Good defense, but he hauls it. Number four team in the nation versus number nine. I absolutely love this matchup. I want to reiterate, seeing these two teams get to this point is inspiring. And I really hope at some point this can become a reality in real life, seeing some cool matchups take place across the 12 team bracket. Third and two, motion all the way. The read option, track down from behind, fourth and one. We'll go ahead and return the punt. It's time for the offense to get a crack out here and see what we can do. Here they come, led by Sidney Ali in his senior season. Cougar defense off to a disruptive start. Will they be able to disrupt the slip screen? Neighbors in and out, lower the head, get the first. Inches. Fourth and inches, just a toss to the right, looking to get past a man. Webb gets it done. Get a little offense going here. Stays alive. Stays alive from two guys. Are you out of your mind? Let's hit the tight end coming back for it. Intercepted. A real disrupted play I thought was going to turn in our favor but it gets intercepted last second. Washington State trying to score first blood on the national championship stage. Big sack for Quincy Strange, our five-star left outside linebacker. Calls for second and 17, and of course, they go for the fake on the play action. They were not gonna hand it off. We read the scouting report. This team's an air raid, and I wasn't believing it for a second. Third and nine, looking to cover another huge sack. That time, it's number 90. That was our big six-star. Parker McGee stepped up and made a big play in the biggest game of his his life and so did Gann the linebacker. Jaleel Gann the linebacker from Washington playing Washington State makes the biggest play of his young career. Unfortunate that one did not land in our favor. We'll just go ahead and take it to corner for the first. Now running a stick in nod. There is Swain picking up another. Running it back. Maybe we'll get some busted defense. I don't know. Why don't we just let it fly deep to the end zone? It's Crumpler. Get owned. The most reliable OG one out there. Let's go, baby. Crumpler is a big man, too. If you didn't know, dude's got six foot five length, and he's going to do it on the other side of the field as well. Really feeling himself out here. Number eight, have the best game of your life senior out and in the fourth quarter we're up by 11 and guess who crumpler open again to make an insane catch insane catch gets us right down here to finish it off with a neighbor's touchdown fourth and 23 absolutely stifled washington state all day long there was no chance on that dump off boise state fans getting restless they can hardly contain themselves as long comes down with a big interception to end this game we are victorious after six long years of rebuild we are the champions of the world. Washington State was not going to take a timeout. They already knew the game was over. The victory formation unit comes out to the field and it is finished. Let's go. National champions go crazy, Boise State. This is what we've been waiting to see. Just taking it all in. Washington State valiant fight to get to this point in the playoffs. But no match for the Boise State Broncos. Up to a 93 overall, 94 defense. This team was destined to do this. And there's Sir Sponge hoisting up his first national championship trophy first of many for the coach that's going to go on and rebuild so many dynasties across the land and that's gonna do it folks i hope you soaked it up with king sponge and if you are enjoying your stay hit that subscribe button and i'll catch you on the next college football video there are a ton of bangers on the channel and more to come so keep it here with your boy king sponge